Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Brokewatch Fanatic, and today I'll be taking a look at this Seiko SPB197, otherwise known as the Mountain Glacier. This watch was loaned into the channel by a subscriber and my good friend Papi Ja, so I'd like to give him a shout out. Now this was a controversial piece because it was originally released as a European limited edition model that came with two straps, a calfskin leather and a nylon strap, both with fold over clasps. That was the SPB199 and only 2020 of these were made. Shortly after Seiko releases this exact same model in Europe with a bracelet this time in a non-limited fashion and it really angered a lot of cons consumers who bought the limited edition piece. But after handling this model, I'll tell you why that I would rather have the limited edition SPB199 over this one. Starting off, we have a 39mm case size with a 46mm lug to lug, 13mm thick, and a 20mm lug width tapering down to 18. This model features the 6R35 caliber. It is an automatic manual winding and hacking movement with a 70 hour power reserve vibrating at 21,600 VPH. It features an underside AR coated sapphire crystal with a date magnifier and a screw down crown with 200 meters of water resistance. Now the star of the show is this incredible dial. If you take a look, you can get all types of hues depending on the lighting. I see a little bit of blue, gray, and green tint to it. The polished markers pop nicely along with those cathedral style hands. I'm glad that this version also came with the Arabic numerals as opposed to other Alpinist variations such as the black one that just had the triangle indices all around. It also features an inner rotating compass bezel which is operated by a second crown by the 4 o'clock position. Overall, I think it's a great compact watch that is unique enough to be in anyone's collection. The dimensions will suit the majority of wrists out there and it sits well on my 6.5 inch wrist. So I highlighted all the features I like about the watch, the unique dial, the updated movement with a hefty power reserve, the wearability, but it kind of stops there for me. My two biggest gripes about the watch is the bracelet and the date magnifier. Now I was excited to hear that this watch was now being released with a bracelet and I thought maybe down the line if I ever do buy an Alpinist it would be this exact model. I immediately felt bad for the owners of the limited edition because after all there's nothing limited about it anymore and the exclusivity is just thrown out the window. However, after handling this watch, I would have still chosen the SPB199 limited edition over this 197. The bracelet on this is such a disappointment. I mean, the only good thing about the bracelet is the fact that the scissor clasp is not stamped steel. The bracelet otherwise feels cheap and it's something that I would see paired with a Seiko with a 4R movement, for example, like the Seiko 5s. And another shocker to me was when I went ahead and sized this bracelet. It isn't the standard pin and collar system that you'd see. Instead, these were split pins. And the last negative about the bracelet is this massive gap by the clasp. I think Seiko should have designed and engineered this a lot better. My last negative is the Cyclops. Not all date magnifiers are created equal. I think there's a right way and a wrong way to implement this. Of course, Rolex sets the benchmark when it comes to a date magnifier. If you look at their watches, you can see that it magnifies the date just enough to be functional without trying too hard. And what I mean by that is I like to see some spacing around the date within the magnifier. On the Alpinist, the date feels overblown maybe they needed a bigger cyclops or reduce the magnification just a touch and seiko is able to execute this correctly just look at the samurai in comparison 
It's almost on par with Rolex. I think this attention to detail was overseen by the engineers. So as I've mentioned earlier, I would have rather owned the limited edition version of this watch simply because the bracelet is such a disappointment and I would have changed it out to something else regardless. And the limited edition also comes with two fold over clasps, which I think is a better option over the OEM bracelet. And lastly, the SPV199 is numbered into the case back and I think that counts for something. Obviously, if you're in the market today, the limited edition is sold out. So this alternate reference won't be a bad choice if you're after this watch. But that's my take on this Alpinist. Beautiful dial, nice updated movement, comfortable to wear, but okay mag date magnifier and a disappointing bracelet. The good news is that this will pair well with many straps and with it being 20 millimeters, you'll have plenty of options. All right, I've rambled on long enough. Until next time, take care everyone.